Hello everyone, Kit here, back with another video. Today for you guys I'm going to be reading the Department of Justice, the USA Patriot Act, Preserving Life and Liberty, Uniting and Strengthening America by Providing Appropriate Tools Required to Intercept and, obst and Obstruct Terrorism. I'll leave a link to this document down in the description below, it's really important you guys read it out and understand it. I'll also leave a link to our email in the description below, you can email us at themillings.gmail.com for private consultation. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Department of Justice. The Department of Justice's first priority is to prevent future terrorist attacks. Since its passage following the September 11, 2011, 2001 attacks, the Patriot Act has played a key part and often a leading role in a number of successful operations to, to protect innocent Americans from the deadly plans of terrorists dedicated to destroying America and our way of life. While the results have been important, in passing the Patriot Act, Congress provided for only modest, incremental charges changes in the law. Congress simply took existing legal principles and re and re retrofitted them to preserve the lives and liberty of the American people from the challenges posed by a global terrorist network. The U.S. Patriot Act, preserving life and liberty. Uniting and strengthening America by, by providing appropriate tools required to intercept and obstruct terrorism. Congress enacted the Patriot Act by overwhelming bitaparsian margins, arming law enforcement with new tools to detect and prevent terrorism. The USA Patriot Act was passed nearly unanimously by the Senate 9-8-1 and 3-5-7-2. 6 6 in the House, with the support of members from across the political spectrum. The Act improves our counterterrorism efforts in, in several significant ways. 1. The Patriot Act allows investigators to use the tools that are already available to investigate organized crime and drug trafficking. Many of the tools of the Act provides to law enforcement to fight terrorism have been used for decades to fight organized crime and drug dealers, and have been reviewed and approved by the courts, such as such as Sen. Joe, Joe Biden D-DE explained during the floor debate about the Act, the FBI could get a wiretrap wire wire tap to investigate the Mafia, but they could not get into one's investigate terror. They could not get one to investigate terrorists. To put it bluntly, that was crazy. What's good for the mob should should be good for terrorists. Allows law enforcement to use surveillance against more crimes of terror. Before the Patriot Act, courts could permit law enforcement to conduct electronic surveillance and investigate investigate many ordinary non-terrorism crimes, such as drug crimes, mail fraud, and passport fraud. Agents could also obtain wiretaps to investigate some, but not all. All of the crimes that terrorists often commit. The act enabled investigators to gather information when looking into the full range of terrorism-related crimes, including chemical weapons offenses, the use of weapons of mass destruction, killing Americans abroad, and terrorism financing. Allows federal agents to follow sophisticated terrorists trained to evade detection. For years, law enforcement has been able to use roving wiretaps to investigate ordinary crimes, including drug offenses and racketeering. A roving wiretap can be authorized by a federal judge to apply to a particular suspect rather than a particular phone or communication device. Because international terrorists are, phys are sophisticated and trained to thwart surveillance by rapidly changing locations and communication services such as cell phones, the Act authorized agents to seek court permission to use the same techniques in national security investigations to track terrorists. Allows law enforcement to conduct investigations without tipping off terrorists. In some cases, if criminals are tipped off too early, uh, too early to an investigation, they might flee, destroy evidence, intimidate or kill witnesses, cut off contact with associates, or take other action to evade arrest. Therefore, federal courts in narrow circumstances long have, long have allowed law enforcement to delay for a limited time when the subject is told that judicially approved search warrant has been executed. Note is always provided, but the reasonable delay gives law enforcement time to identify the criminal associates, eliminate immediate threats. 
to our communities and coronate the arrest of multiple individuals without tipping them off beforehand. These delayed notification search warrants have been used for decades, have been proven crucial in drug or unorganized crime cases, cases and have been upheld by courts as fully constitutional. Allows federal agents to ask a court for an order to obtain business records in national security terrorism cases. Examining businesses' records often provides the key that investigators are looking for to solve a wide range of crimes. Investigators might seek select records from hardware stores to chemical or, or chemical plants, for example, to find out who bought materials to make a bomb or bank records to see who's sending money to terrorists. Law enforcement authorities have always been able to obtain business records in criminal cases through grand jury subpoenas and continue to do so in national security cases when appropriate. These guards were sought in criminal cases such as the investigation of the Zodiac gunman, where police suspected the gunman was inspired by a Scottish occult poet and wanted to learn who had checked the poet's books out of the library. In national security cases, where use of the grand jury process was not appropriate, investigators previously had limited tools at their disposal to obtain a certain business records under the Patriot Act. The government can now ask a federal court, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, if needed to aid in investigation. In order production of the same type of records available through grand jury subpoenas, this court, however, to order production of the same type of records available through grand jury subpoenas. This federal court, however, can issue these orders only after the government demonstrates the records con concerned are sought for and authorized investigation to obtain foreign intelligence information not concerning a U.S. person or to protect against international ter terrorism or clandestine intelligence activities provided that such investigation of a U.S. person is not conducted solely on the basis of activities protected by the First Amendment. The, P two, the, P the P Patriot Act facilitated information sharing and cooperation among government agencies so that they can be better. Connect the dots. The Act removed the major legal barriers that prevented the law, enforcement, intelligence, and national defense communities from talking and coordinating their work to protect the American people and their national security. The government's prevention efforts should not be restricted by boxes on an organi organizational court chart. Now police officers, FBI agents, federal prosecutors, and intelligence officials can protect our communities by connecting the dots to uncover terrorist plots before they ca are completed, as Sen Jun on Edwards NC said about the Patriot Act. We simply cannot prevail in the battle against terrorism if the right hand of our government has no idea of what the left hand is doing. Press release. Prosecutors and their investigators use information shared pursuant to the, sec to se to the section 218 in investigating the defendants in the so-called Virginia Jad case. This prosecution involved members of the Dar Aha Krem Islamic Center who trained for a jihad in Northern Virginia by participating in paintball and preliminary training including eight individuals who traveled the, to the terrorist training camps in Pakistan or Afghan, Afghan, Afghanistan between 1999 and 2001. These individuals are associates with of a violent Islamic extremist group known as lashkar e tebia L-E-T, which oper operates in Pakistan, and Kashmir, which that has ties to the Al-Qaeda terrorist network. As a result of an investigation that included the use of information obtained through FISA, prosecutors were able to bring the guilty charges against these individuals. Six of the defendants have pleaded guilty, and three were convicted in March 2004 of charges including conspiracy to leave a war against the United States and can conspiracy to provide material support to the Taliban. These nine defendants received sentences rating from a prison term of four years to life imprisonment. The Patriot Act updated the law to reflect new technologies and new threats. Number three, the Act brought the law up to date with the current technology so you no longer have to fight a digital age battle with antique weapons, legal authorities left over from the era of rotary, of rotary telephones. When investigating the murder of Wall Street Journal, Daniel Pearl, for example, 
Law, for, law enforcement used one of the act's new authorities to use high-tech means to identify and locate some of the killers. Law enforce, allows law enforcement officials to obtain a search warrant anywhere a terrorist-related activity record, occurred. Before the Patriot Act, law enforcement personnel were required to obtain a search warrant in the district before where they intended to conduct a search. However, modern terrorism investigations often span a number of districts, and officers therefore had to obtain multiple warrants in multiple jurisdictions, creating unnecessary delays. The Act provides that warrants can be obtained in any district in which terrorism-related activities occurred, regardless of where they will be executed. This provision does not change the standards governing the availability of a search warrant, but streamlines the search warrant process, allows victims of computer hacking to request law enforcement assistance in monitoring the trespassers on their computers. This change made the law technology neutral. It placed electronic trespassers on, this tra trespassers on the same footing as physical trespassers. Now hacking victims can seek law enforcement assistance to combat hackers, just as burglary victims. Such as burglary victims have been able to invite officers into their homes to catch burglars. 4. The Patriot Act increased the penalties for those who commit terrorist crimes. Americans are threatened as much by the terrorist who pays for a bomb by the one who pushes the button. That's why the Patriot, the Patriot Act imposed tough new penalties on those who commit and support terrorist operations, both home and abroad. In particular, the Act prohibits the harboring of terrorists. The Act created a new offense that permits knowingly harboring persons who have committed or are about to commit a variety, a variety of terrorist offenses, such as destruction of aircraft, use of nuclear, chemical, or biological weapons, use of weapons of mass destruction, bombing of government property, sabotage of nuclear families, and aircraft piracy. Enhance the inquited maximum penalties for various crimes likely to be committed by terrorists, including arson, destruction of energy facilities, material support to terrorists and terrorist organizations, destruction of national defense minerals, materials. Enhance a number of conspiracy penalties including for arson, killings in federal, federal facilities, attacking communication systems, material support to terrorists, sabotage of nuclear facilities, and interference with flight crew members. Under previous law, many terrorism statutes do not specifically prohibit engaging in conspiracies that to commit the underlying offenses. In such cases, the government could not only bring prosecutions under the federal, un, under the general federal conspiracy provision, which carries a maximum penalty of only five years in prison, punishes terrorist attacks on mass transit systems, punishes bioterrorists, eliminates the statutes of limitations for certain terrorism crimes and lengthens them for other terrorist crimes. The government's success in preventing another catastrophic attack on the American homeland since September, since September 11, 2001 would have been much more difficult, if not, if not impossible, without the USA Patriot Act. The authorities Congress provided have substantially enhanced our ability to prevent, investigate, and prosecute acts of terror. And that's about it, guys. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I remember, I'll leave a link this down in the description below, along with our email. You can email us at themonsgmo.com for private consultation. And yeah, have a nice day, everyone.